Hello, my friends. Once again, you caught me uh, shredding apples. Today, with all the apples that we shop off the tree, we are going to make Polish apple pancakes. Another recipe from my childhood. I didn't even realize how many different things we can make with apples. And trust me, I have quite a few that I haven't used yet. Okay, our apples are ready. I pre-shredded some, so here um, we are ready. This time we're going to read recipe together and we're going to put things into um, this beautiful metal bowl. Together we're going to create um, pancake batter. I'm going to need that. Okay. So we need one cup of milk. Here is my milk. Here is my measuring cup. Here we go. One cup of milk. And that's a little more. Here we go. A full cup of milk. In it goes. Great. And I can go to the side. The next thing on our list is one egg. Here we might want to add out to hope. One egg. There we go. Uh, can you tell me what's next on my list? Because I can't see it from here. One teaspoon of oil. Here are my measuring spoon. And this one has says one teaspoon. So one teaspoon of oil. There we go. In it goes. And what does it say next? A one quarter of a teaspoon. Where would I find this one? That's too big. And a tablespoon. Oh, here, that's a teeny little one. Like a pinch of salt. I'm going to put it together. And now we're going to whisk it. There we go. Whisking it together. Great. One. That's a great job for my young friends, my little friends, yes? Whisking together. As soon as you see that it's all beautifully combined, put this to the side. We need flour and Baking powder, one cup of flour. Okay, here's my measuring cup. One, it says one cup. I wonder how many spoons are in one cup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I can make it eight. Mm, eight. I think mine has about eight spoons of flour. I like to sift my flour. I do that here. Okay, nicely sifted. You want to help me? Tap, tap. In goes the flour. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. It looks like it's raining flour. Raining flour. The rain is falling down. The flour is falling down. The flour is falling down. The flour is falling down. Into our ball. Okay, beautifully. All the flour is in. Now we need one teaspoon of baking powder back into a teaspoon so this says half a teaspoon and here it says one teaspoon and it goes one teaspoon of flour and now we're going to whisk it again whisk it together Mm -hmm. Do you think that's good enough? Or should we do it a little 
Come on. Okay, and the last thing, we are going to add our apples. In it goes. And let's incorporate it. So there's quite a lot of apples, more apples than really the, the batter. That's how it's supposed to look. So there's really more apples than batter. Now, I'm going to use uh, the frying pan with a little bit of uh, cooking oil we're gonna fry the pancakes and again that's gonna be the adult's turn thank you adult's turn because stove is very hot and we're gonna use in hot oil um so adult's turn so i'm gonna add a little bit of cooking oil onto my frying pan once the oil is hot. I'm going to put a quarter, one third actually, of a cup of the mixture of apples and pancake batter. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. It's really up to uh, your preferences. I'm gonna spread it, just so. So I have the stove on a medium heat setting gonna let it cook. Once the batter starts bubbling, it's time to turn over the pancakes. So I can see the batter is already starting to a little or I think it needs a little more time. Okay, I think the pancakes are ready to be turned around. Beautifully golden brown on one side. Good. And let's I like to drain of the oil, so I'm going to put a bit of a paper towel. I think it's time to see they look perfectly cooked. One more time on the other side to make sure. I'm going to add a little more paper towel because the previous one is saturated with oil before putting my bunch of pancakes on, apple pancakes on, just to get the excess amount of oil. And since my frying pan is almost dry, put a tiny bit of oil on, spread it evenly, and I'm going to make my tiny little Our Polish apple pancakes are ready. I'm gonna plate them now. Done for you. And done for me. One, two. I like mine with a little bit of icing sugar. 
Remember, we did not add any sugar into the um, batter. Uh, depending on what kind of apples you used, uh, it might be quite sour. And I really like mine with just a tap of yogurt. Would you like sugar? You said yes to sugar. Okay, here's the sugar. Would you like some yogurt? No, you don't like his yogurt. That's fine. That's wonderful. Let's see. Mm, there's mine with a bit of yogurt. Delicious. It tastes just like my childhood. Thank you and enjoy. See you next time.